my tribe, my girls. Harriet, Angela, Renee, Melissa, and Cecilia. Can you guys stand up, please? Thank you for insisting that I cannot do this alone. I could not have done this by myself. The late nights, the assistance with so much. I, and I, by the way, you guys, I may have created, thought, thought of the design, but it was implemented by Melissa and part of the crew. But these are my girls right here. This is, this is, this, these are my girls. Who you see right here, these are my girls. If I, if I need something, I don't need a cricket. Everybody's like, who sure. do you need to get a cricket? I got five girls that have crickets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we put some miles on them, didn't we? <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Um, Harriet, can you come up here, please? Um, when you're creating an event and you have a vision, it's not easy to hand that vision to somebody else. But I was comfortable in handing it to Harriet, and Harriet made it come to life. And it's difficult for me to, to hand over the reins like that, but I, I, I was okay with it at, at some point. If I got on your nerves, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just want you to know I love you, and I thank you so much for it. Um, and thank you to my niece Taisha to make sure that my face was on fleek. I'm sorry, Taisha, I had to take the eyelashes off. <laughs> Where are you, Ty? All right, that's my niece, y'all. <laughs> My high school peeps, my fellow vineyards, Mark, Kathy, Nady, where you at? <laughs> Thank you for coming all the way to beautiful Green Park. Fight Belusa. Fight Belusa for most is just a street name, but when we, when any of us say Fight Belusa, it means family. We've all built our home on Fight Belusa Court in 2008. We, eat, we celebrate each other, we mourn with each other, and we are just there for each other. A little story. In 2013, we were in Annapolis visiting Alex at the Naval Academy. When I received a phone call from my neighbor, Tamara, <laughs> whose daughter begged in tears not to call me, because our kids are like family to each other as well. Tamara called to ask me if I had given permission for there to be a party at my house. <laughs> Long story short, okay. no. our son Isaiah, who was a freshman at A&T, decided for a party and invite the whole A&T campus. <laughs> As my other neighbors, T-Man, T-Johnson, find the Luther stand up for a second. Find the Luther. So as my other neighbors, T-Man, T-Johnson, and Mr. Mike, may you rest in peace, Mike passed away a few years ago, began to wrangle the kids out of the house and passed the seat. Where you at seat? <laughs> our, our youth pastor was given, he was giving the kids a good tongue lashing. Yes, the youth pastor was called in. I asked Samara to count the kids as they were coming out the house. When she got to 50, I said, stop. <laughs> My neighbors shuttled all those students back to campus and went off on all of them. <laughs> T. Johnson helped to clean, helped Isaiah clean the house, cleaner than it had ever been before. So when we arrived home, it was like nothing had happened. Isaiah was back in his dorm and the house was in perfect condition. And secretly, we were really not that mad. We were actually a little impressed because we, we heard the details of the party. He had security. Get locked upstairs off. His social media, his social media marketing was. Um, well, there you have to see that. Piper Luther rocks. <laughs> Table five, my Cone Hell family. Where you at? Table five, Cone Hell. Dr. Mangrenat, can you please stand, Dr. Mangrenat? 
the most profound words that my husband and I have ever heard in our lives was when he said, I'm going to cure you. Dr. Marignard is my oncologist, and it took me two weeks to find him. I walked into the cancer center because I've been given a runaround elsewhere, and I just said to the guy at the desk, I was like, I have breast cancer and I want to be treated here. And, you know, it led me to Dr. Magrinat, and, and he's just been a joy to work with and to be worked on by him. And thank you so much, Dr. Magrinat, you just don't know. And by the way, his wife is, is a breast cancer survivor as well. Okay, she's gonna kill me. Mary Jones, can you please stand? Just stand, just stand, just stand. Mary, <laughs> if it wasn't for you in your vision so of, so of a light, now program at Cone Health, but the Alight Foundation, I would not be standing right here, and you would not be standing right there. <laughs> Thank you so much for your vision of a light, and you saw the need, and you made sure that it happened, and that need is, is being met, you know, those patients are getting what they need. Thank you so much. I love you. Love you too. Thank you so much. Um, all of you have heard talk about my family. My mom, my, get out, mom. My mother, get out. My mom with the purple hair. <laughs> She's real, y'all. That's my mom. Everywhere we have lived, I don't care where it was, in Germany, California, she came and she always bought us something nice for the house that we needed, whether it was a washing machine and dryer, furniture, whatever, but she, you know, she always made sure that I was loved, welcomed, and, and most of y'all that know the story. Um, my sisters. <laughs> I am so proud to call these women my sisters. And you guys always hear me talk about them. Mm -hmm. Dr. Nicole Gittins, Stan. Mm -hmm. Not that kind of doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody just needs CPR, please. <laughs> just by the way. This is my, she's next in line. Kendra Gittin, get up girl. <laughs> Dr. Lindsay Gittin. That kind of doctor. That, that kind of doctor. <laughs> but still. She's an anesthesiologist. These are the perfect examples of young women. They, I know I'm the oldest, but they have set such a trail for my niece, for Kendra's daughters, even for baby Theodore Ann's channel. You know, I'm going with the girl thing, I'm going with the girl thing. But you guys are just remarkable to me, and I'm so proud of you, all three of you. You guys just, you don't, ask, ask if there's not a person in here that doesn't know. Lindsay's an anesthesiologist, uh, Kendra's a PA, and, and Nikki's a, um, a doctor of um, education. And I, I always talk about them, because I'm so proud of them and all the work that they do. So proud of them. Kendra adopted a little two-year-old girl she met at work, the mother at work. Who does that? Wow. She's going crazy now, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can sit out. <laughs> so those are my joys right here. They, 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 I love them so much. I love them so much. Um, Alex and Isaiah, you two are my most proudest accomplishments. <laughs> Isaiah is my favorite son, <laughs> and Alex is my favorite daughter. <laughs> Isaiah, you are me, so I know you're going to continue to do great things. You are me. You look like me. You act like me. You're me. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, most of y'all don't know, Isaiah is a truck driver. He's 24 years old. When I went to the Army, I was 24 years old, and I drove trucks in the Army. Wow. Isaiah is me. <laughs> Just continue on the path that you're going on. Alex, you're my shero too. You, you have made this family so proud, and we love you dearly. Anthony, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank 
thank you so much for every moment from the very beginning. Um, most of you know, Andy and I only knew each other 30 days the day we got married, took a chance, and it's, it's just worked, you know, and it's been work, and it'll continue to be work, but we love each other dearly. We're there for each other, always will be, and I just thank you for allowing me to do this. When I said to, you know, when I asked Anthony, can I do this? He said, absolutely do it. And I was like, but are you sure? Are you sure? Because you know how I, I kind of want to do it at kind of like this kind. Jill, do it. Do it. So thank you so much, honey. Thank you. And I love you. Let's party. <laughs>